Good evening everyone. Just a quick update on the lettuce greenhouse. It's dusk here on Saturday night and headed towards close to 30 below tonight and uh, nice and toasty in here right now but I tell you those heaters are running steady so our fingers are crossed. Uh, it's been a bit of adventure with this winter uh, winter greenhouse growing but uh, we're taking it day by day and so far so good. But that's not really uh, that's not really what I wanted to talk to you about. What I wanted to talk to you about was um, an eight, the aphids uh, that we've been dealing with here in the greenhouse. In the last month, month and a half, we've noticed increasing numbers of these little green bugs called aphids, um, common in greenhouses and um, love leafy greens. And they've been really causing a nuisance for us. We've been having to wash our lettuce and uh, really struggling because the most common or a common way to deal with uh, aphids is uh, is to put ladybugs in your greenhouse and unfortunately they've been on back order I believe because of the wildfires uh, last year um, supply is real short and so we can't get ladybugs and so the uh, the su bug supplier that we've been uh, we've been dealing with uh, recommended a different uh, different bug called I think they're called aphidolides or aphidolides uh, aphidizema uh, also commonly referred to as the aphid midge and uh, they sent us a little container of them and we we raced over to the nearest town here to the pure later depot on friday to pick these guys up and we're uh, planning to release them in the greenhouse tonight they say to release them at dusk um, and i guess because they're busy at night and the way it works is the the, 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 the little flies um, lay their larva and it's the larva that eat the aphids and apparently these little these little uh, busy larva will eat up to uh, 70 different species of aphids and eat quite a few of them a day so we're really hoping that uh, this is the answer for us here or at least it helps with the aphid population in here and really saves us some time washing lettuce so I'm gonna change the camera around here and let them go and I'll try to sorry my lights just kicked off here they're on a timer and my grow lights just kicked off so um, some of them anyway so it's hard to see but I'll do my best to, to share with you uh, the exciting experience of releasing our first um, bug control bugs thanks so these guys these guys came to us uh, in a nice little box pure curated to us rush delivery and here we've got sort of little mini cooler a little insulated box and there they are the aphid eliminator aphidolides aphid aphidomyza and so there are vermiculite in there and eggs or larvae but also a bunch of little flies flying around if you can see them there hopefully you can see the little flies flying around so it's those guys that we want to let go onto our lettuce so we're going to give this a go here and see what happens let's go down to the middle sorry about the moving camera there i was struggling to get the container open but you can see I'm gonna hold the camera steady if you can see these little guys. Sorry about the camera work there guys. It's really hard to see because it's pretty dark in here. But I'm hoping most of the flies, most of them are already out. But if you can see, there are some in there moving around. And it's those guys that we want flying around these lettuce and laying their bugs on the lettuce. So. I'll show you there. We've got on the back of some of these leaves, you can see little green buggos anyway we'll keep you updated we'll let you know if this works out or not but uh, fingers crossed hey guys sorry just uh i was walking back from the greenhouse to the house and realized i forgot to mention one thing 
um, why we're using bugs to take care of bugs. And I mean, it's pretty common, but the main, the main reason is because we don't, we don't spray with any pesticides. We're, uh, we're, we're not, we're not interested in using, you know, uh, off the shelf pesticides or chemicals, um, to deal with bugs. And so the next best thing, or probably a, arguably a better way to go about it is to use bugs to kill bugs. And so that's, that's what we're trying here. Um, we're new at this and have no idea if it's going to work and we're really hoping it does. But anyway, I just wanted to explain that that's why we're putting bugs in the greenhouse intentionally um, to hopefully take care of the bugs that are hurting our lettuce. Because these guys here, these aphidolites or aphid midge, um, they won't harm the lettuce like the aphids do. They'll, they'll prey on the aphids and then uh, if they run out of aphids to eat, uh, they'll move on and uh, either die off or move on and find food elsewhere. But that's, that's in theory how it works. We'll see if it works for us. Thanks.